Welcome everybody, uh, welcome back to the mini uh, prehistoric version of Insanity Check. Uh, I am Ken, of course, this is Skillet Sauce. What's going on? Um, our uh, lovely uh, Natalie is not here with us today. Uh, she will be uh, joining us soon. Yeah. I guess when, was it, uh, Mr. Who? Doctor Who. Doctor. Yeah, Doctor Who. Whovians. Whovians. When Doctor Who comes back. Now, I'm pretty sure she'll you know, try something else out, but yeah, definitely uh, for the Doctor Who fans out there. So we're going to do something with that. I think that's, uh, what that's, uh, I think it's the, the, the third week or fourth week in August is when Doctor Who returns. So. Ooh, it's almost here. You, for you, for you, for you, Whovians. Ain't <laughs> nothing wrong with some Whovians, man. Whatever. Uh, today we have, uh, few things uh, to chit chat about. Uh, we actually touched on one of these earlier, uh, well actually a couple of a show or two ago, uh, but it's taken uh, its next step. Um, that would be uh, the situation, the uh, domestic violence uh, issue with uh, Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice. Uh, he was uh, hit with a two game suspension. and Now he had went through the court system already. The, the the regular court system. He went through uh, he you went know. through went through everything. He went through everything. everything. Yeah. Uh, in and fact, the, on Mike and Mike in the morning, an ESPN uh, radio show, uh, one of the uh, VPs for the NFL was uh, being interviewed by them, and they asked him if he thought uh, if it was too light, and he actually said that, uh, in fact, no other punishment was handed down, and currently has been handed down to Ray Rice except for the NFL. Yeah. Cops didn't do anything. No one else did anything, yeah, yeah. you know, except for the NFL. Uh, he pled. Uh, he went through counseling, or he's going through counseling. He's in the process of counseling. Uh, his fiance at the time, who he apparently, uh, I, we, we still haven't seen the, the footage, but we're, we're to assume that he cold knocked this chick out. No, he, we he, see, he, see he dragging her yeah, body out of the elevator where they he, were. He there. slapped her down. Uh, something, something. He did something to her and, 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 and rendered her in a semi-unconscious state. But then again, she was also... Heavily intoxicated yeah, at the which time. She admitted to. Yeah, she admitted uh, to that. Now, yeah. and so basically, um, everyone across the well, the people who've been shouting the loudest. Let's just put it that way. The people who've been shouting the loudest think that it was uh, the NFL is basically endorsing uh, domestic domestic violence, violence because it was only a two game suspension. And, and Mike Lupica and one of the other mics were on uh, radio on ESPN Radio today, yeah. and they were like saying that you know same thing. They was like, oh, if, with only a two game suspension. You're basically going to invite other NFL players who don't seem to understand that there are laws on top of just being an NFL player, but they think that somehow these people are going, oh, wow, it's only a two-game suspension, so I'm going to go slap up my wife, okay, which, you know, like I said, is going to get you landed in jail, but they don't think about that kind of stuff. I mean, they're just out for this guy's blood. Um, uh, please, I, I heard some rumblings about... Her, you know, putting her hands on Ray Rice, but I can't quote it because I don't know exactly. Because this was at the very, very, very beginning of this whole thing. W when did this happen? Like, how many months ago was it? Um, like a, a month or two tops, I think. Oh, okay. Could, could you find out if she touched him first? Because I could have sworn someone said that she was out of control and she was like, I guess, you know, that old windmill shit or whatever. She did some shit and put her hands on Ray Rice. And, uh, but I'm not exactly sure, but I, j I just want to, I just want to know that. So, you know, Ken's going to Google that and I'm going to do some steps and shit, you know, but no, no, seriously. Um, the way this is blown up to me is indicative of the problem with today's society, the problem with social media, the problem with everyone living under a microscope that can see another galaxy. Because, um, you know, the fact that the police and whatever judge or magistrate or whatever they had to appear before didn't see fit to incarcerate this man or do anything. Obviously, you know, if you do do something like that publicly, you should go to counseling. If you feel that you and your spouse or mate or whatever cannot get along and it becomes physical and you want to obviously assess what it is within yourself that brought you to that level, but also try to maintain the relationship and hopefully build it to where it can go forward, you should go to counseling. But as far as in any jail time or anything like that, they didn't give it to him, yet the NFL felt compelled to give him two games and people are still not happy enough. And that just seems to be the way 
I won't say the NFL, but the, I can't even say the sports world. I mean, I just, just think the world in general. You know, we can go back to the whole Michael Vick thing where the man served his time. He, you know, body slammed and lynched and electrocuted them dogs. They, you know, they, they dropped the gavel on him and he went to jail. And when he came out and some people still didn't feel that, you know, whatever suspension he had from the NFL or whatever was good enough. And they never want this man to be able to work again because... To me, it's just so easy to point fingers. You know, it's so easy to say, well, he's, you know, he could never redeem himself, you know, for whatever transgressions. And in this Ray Rice case, you know, they're just mad because the NFL didn't give the, what, what are you supposed to get, a lifetime ban? I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe half a season or whatever. Um, and, of course, you know, they figure that I can't find, I don't see anything uh, oh. offhand about uh, whether she hit him or not. Um, I'm going to try to find that shit out myself. Half, too, half a season or, you know. It's two games, you know, we talk about millionaires. Um, he's he's not, uh, they, to spend him for two games, they're, in addition to that, they're finding him his paycheck for an additional game. So he's losing three paychecks. Yeah. Um, which, because he's a football player, is hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, but apparently that's not sufficient. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure, and, and not that I think that, you know, I actually, I, I really to this moment haven't really decided or thought about really uh, whether two games is, is a sufficient suspension for this cat. I'm just wondering, like, why all of a sudden, you know, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> dudes have been beating their bitches for the, since, since the beginning of time. <laughs> it's, uh, definitely, I know. You know, and in the sports world, this yeah. is just, it's not a, a football thing. This is a societal thing. This is what happens. Is it right? Of course not. Yeah, you got to make sure to say that. Wait a second. You got to say that shit from every angle. So you got to look this way and say, you got to look this way, you got to look this way, because if you don't say and stress it's not right, it's not right in multiple languages, they're going to pull out a few words and condemn us. So basically, what the, one of the, reason, the main reason why we're talking about this is because Stephen A. Smith, who is one of the, 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 the premier uh, reporters for ESPN, uh, he on his show... You know, and again, I will repeat what he's been repeating for years. Stephen A. Smith, he's been raised by his mom. He has four older sisters. He constantly, constantly is always talking about how dudes are not supposed to hit women. If any of his females in his family get hit, before he calls the cops, he has insinuated strongly that he's taking it to the streets and fucking these cats up. Yeah. So he doesn't believe in, you know, violence against women. Um, but he made, apparently, the, the, the unfortunate mistake... Of, and I, I'm, I'm trying to quote correctly, looking at the full scope of a situation. But you can't do that when you come into to these types of No, you cannot. No, you cannot. While, again, he stressed that what Ray Rice did was wrong, he was trying to make a point about women not, and he used the word provoke, which was, woo! He also used the word responsibility on the female's part. Woo! Can't say that Big shit. mistake. Big so, mistake. Uh, one of his colleagues, uh, a lady named Michelle Beadle, she went on on Twitter and basically blew him up, and that set set the firestorm off. And now everyone was after this cat, so he went on Twitter and basically was trying to explain himself by reiterating again, so that I guess maybe he thought people can hear clearly what he was saying. They just thought it was the same shit. You're trying to say that it's okay for men to beat women because they're not responsible to to, to not have it happen. So basically, yesterday, or maybe this probably happened yesterday. Maybe it was this morning. I saw this this morning. Yeah, they probably told they him. They put mad pressure on this cat and was like, "You better get the fuck on camera mm -hmm. and apologize with not with, with with his partner Skip Bayless." Oh no, no, no! With Carrie Champion, who is the moderator of this show, she does, does nothing. nothing. She's absolutely she does absolutely nothing. Worthless, worthless. But in this case, since she's a woman, she had to be there to. To try to to show as the ambassador to the female uh, 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 part of of, of 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 the human race that you know, and she was like, you know, I know Stephen A. I know him. I know his character. You know, he made a mistake. He admitted he made a mistake. You know, um, what, uh, what, what, was, what was his mistake? His mistake. What was his mistake? That, and this is what I was saying that I that Stephen A. didn't do, which I wish he would have done. Which anyone who dared to challenge this notion. You know, should have said, no one has said so far. Just ask so, a simple question. Yeah. Am I to understand that in no case 
if a woman is mentally, emotionally, psychologically, physically abusing you as a man, you are not to touch her in any of the situations that could possibly come down from the heavens above. And I would like to someone, I would like whoever yeah. to say if that's a yes or a no. Well, apparently, I'm you know, telling you it's no. I've been saying for the longest, you know, at least in this country, if you ever had a grievance with a male, send a woman. Don't don't touch the guy because you you know you run the risk of getting hurt, damaged, or killed, and going to jail or whatever. Just send the woman there to beat the guy up, scratch him up, kick him, throw bricks at him, set him on fire, whatever. That guy's gonna have to stand there and take that whole beating, or else he's going to go to jail or some. No, the whole thing when I when I think about the the Beyonce, uh, what's her name, Solange Knowles oh, yeah. situation with Jay Z and the Elevator. Now, obviously, if the whole, if that entire situation were reversed and he was doing the exact same things to her, causing the same amount of minimal damage or whatever, that man's career would be over. Yeah. I go so far as to say that if he were to just, without provocation, just say, bitch, whatever, and put his finger on her forehead and mushed her, that man would be in trouble. If, while she was doing all of the stuff that she did to him after the last straw he was like, oh, God damn it, woman, and he double hand shoved her, you know, shoved her on her shoulders. She hit the wall and slid down. That man would be in trouble. There was nothing he could do but what he did do, which was put his hands on his side, clench his fist, ball up his mouth and go, you know what? I can't do anything. So at what point? I mean, because that's sexism. To me, that's com it's not to me. It's sexism. Our bodies are not valuable when it comes to something like that. Obviously, psychological and stuff like that. People can go, well, you know, sticks and stones, words, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if someone is putting their hands upon your person, as a man, and if as a woman, you have no, no recourse, nothing. You can't do anything without someone saying you're a bitch or a pussy, whatever it is, regardless of the damage that you, that you sustain, that you sustain. And, and that's the part that I don't understand. And, course, and it's like, you know... And nobody, nobody's condoning knocking out and socking out women. I've said it on our regular show. I've said it on our previous show. A dude can't just come home. I had a bad day at work or whatever. My food is, you know, tepid and it's not the right temperature. Paya. You, you can't do that. You know, you just cannot do that. But I, I also don't think a woman can go, you know, for whatever reason, I don't like you, you're a lousy bastard, whatever. Whoosh, you, you can't do that. P there should be the same laws that apply to each. People, I think people just look at the fact that it's 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 damaged. I've actually had a woman tell me, oh, well, a woman can't hurt a man as if we have no nerve endings. Lie, so, well, like, we have no. No, what it is, is society will not allow a man to respond to physical pain the same way it would allow a woman to respond to physical pain. Anything that happens to me, my skin and my nerve ending sends it to my pain receptors and I feel it. But if I go, oh, why did you do that? Oh, use a bitch ass. You understand? So as, as a kid, I've been taught, suck it up. Stop crying like a girl. Stop acting like a girl. Oh, you, you've got a little boo-boo in your knee. So we process the pain and, 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 and internalize it, whereas women can easily, you know, just, just show how badly they hurt. Now, clearly there's physical differences. A man, a haymaker on a woman is going to cause way more damage just because of the force of the blow, our physical makeup and everything. But we do feel pain. Now, my, my argument is that we do feel pain. And it's just, it's not one of those situations where I think it's even remotely level. Obviously, a, 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 a man can, in my opinion, on average, can do way more damage to a woman if, you know, than a woman could do to a man. But damage is damage. It's like the whole intent law. You know, I always say if I'm a cockeyed guy with a gun and I keep shooting at you every day and keep missing, I'm still going to jail. Because my intent is to do you harm. I'm just... No good at it. So a woman's intent to beat on a man, she's doing the old windmill and the guy's blocking it and laughing. But her intent is to cause him damage. What if one of those fingernails catch him in his eye? You know, rip his retina right out of his fucking head. You know? So, um, like I said, they had Stephen A. scrambling. Yeah. He, uh, like I said, they put mad pressure on this cat. And I, I, he I know he felt there. bad. I know and, he felt and bad. And do his apology, you know, like at least three or four times. He, he had to make sure there was... It was a separate sentence. I am sorry. And then, didn't he say something along the line that's the worst thing yeah, in my career? The worst, the, worst, the worst thing he's ever done. So he career. basically took all of the canned, you know, apologetic phrases that we have to have, especially in the public eye here, 
especially, you know, because if, 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 if he was with a team, it would have been, I apologize to the team, the organization, the fans, and my family. And, uh, you know, they, they have these set responses that they have to go through. And it, it, I know it burns him extra because just last week, with the Tony Dungy thing, which I want to touch upon, he said, he looked at the camera, he's like, are we at the point to where we have to totally lie about everything? We cannot voice our opinions at all. He's like, is that what we'll become? And look at that, within one week's time, now he has to be in a situation. Because I know he probably wants to tell people, look, motherfuckers. Well, see, this thing, on when, he, when I told you he responded on Twitter yeah, first, yeah. he was like, yo, this, I'm starting to get annoyed. He wrote that in his Twitter. I'm starting to get annoyed. What this, this was after the chick beetle came and yeah, yeah. And he was getting annoyed because, like, are yeah. you people not listening to what I'm saying? Nope. Do you not understand what I'm saying? But apparently they're not. He he stressed on so many occasions. If he's raised by women, got sisters, anybody touches one of them, he always says his boys and him are gonna do shit that's gonna land them in jail to the person that does anything out of line. With one of the members, female members of his family. They're done. He always says that it's just careers over, jail is where I'm going. You know, just know that now. And he always puts it out there so people won't even think that they can do anything to the Smiths, to, 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 to the women in that family. So, and even this, he was like, he, he told, you know, I did read it, he was like, you know, women should be, have some, some culpability so a guy still won't do, you know, won't, won't do what he does, but it's still wrong. So he still said, even if, you know, a woman should be cognizant or have some culpability with, you know, don't, don't scream at a guy and, you know, whatever, if you know he's a volatile individual. He still didn't excuse the man at any point in time in his original statement for being able to lay his hands on a woman. So he went above and beyond because that's not my view. My view is, you know, to each his own as far as, it, not to each his own, you know, do unto others. You know, I don't hit you, you don't hit me, we're good. And you hit me and I hit you back, we're even. If I got a better jab than you, then you should know that and leave me alone. That's my whole thing. No one should have the right to hit anyone first. He didn't say that. He said if, you know, the dude would still be wrong, but the women should just be a little mindful. Can't do that. Cannot do that. Now you have people, not only this guy backpedaling, Ray Rice is probably going to be dogged with this for the whole fucking year. Who knows what kind of women beaters, women, you know, is going to pick at the place or whatever, just going to go crazy. And I said the fact that she knows what the whole story is, because I don't think anyone knows the entire story as far as in what what led up to that. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it didn't seem like he had history with the go ahead. Well, I'll just say one more interesting thing. The gentleman from the NFL who was being interviewed on Mike and Mike, um, they asked him definitely two, if not three times, or at least at two different ways. This question was the committee and Roger Goodell privy to more or extensive video yeah, that's that right. yeah. mm -hmm. than the rest of society was. Yeah. And he basically, he didn't answer. He was like, we believe that, you know, there's a certain amount of privacy that should be accorded, afforded to the individual, Ray Rice, his female, and the investigators. Mm -hmm. And they asked him again, okay, we're not telling you to tell us what it is. Just let us know if there's more stuff. He said the same thing. Now, could it be possible that what's on that video is Ray Rice's woman going fucking ape shit? In a drunken state. In a drunken state. In a drunken state. And again, are there ways to subdue a fucking woman when you yeah. got 100 we're, pounds on yeah, her? Yeah, when, when, and your sure solid muscle when not saying, sure there is. Yeah, give yeah. the woman a trachea chop. With the fucking pigs choking motherfucking black people and shooting them 40 times. What I was found fascinating was the show Cops. How they somehow managed to not fucking kill and strangle fucking people. One person. Because they knew that camera was there. Right. You know, I saw five fucking cops wrestling with a wild white man. Never used their clubs. Never used a taser. And they sure as hell never used their fucking guns. And I and bet they you they said do them. Yeah, they got them under control. Yeah. So, we know it could be done. Yeah. He probably definitely chose the wrong thing. He could have probably just... You know, bear hugged her or something like right. that and just squeezed her, you know, like, you'll calm down, woman, calm down. We're not saying that, you know, slap your woman down, especially when your football player's arms is, you know, they do massive work on their arms. Yeah. He's a running back sure, so he can hold the ball. Person. So he has the ball here. So he's, 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 
definitely that was the wrong course of action if he could have you know that's the pa that's the pa that, that's the last resort in other words if you can grab a woman and just grab her wrist or something or get behind and just squeeze her and and hold her until she calms down you know do whatever you know but whatever they saw may have been enough to be like okay ray you're not a savage insane animal but you we reacted badly yeah. to the situation that was at hand and for or or they were like, there's no way for us to get out of this and, and not go through this firestorm if we don't give him some time. Right, right. Because they could, I mean, because if they saw her, like you said, going crazy ape shit and wild and, 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 and beating on him and he puts the one stiff one on her, they're probably like, yo, even if they felt it was justified, you know, it, it, they, they had to do something like this because of the image of the NFL or the image that they're trying to portray to everyone in the NFL. Yeah. So he had to do some time. There was no way for him to get out of that situation without doing something, with some time. So I just find it unfair that, you know, context is totally taking a back seat. Yeah, people... They, in they any don't. logical discussion, yeah. And no, I'm about to say something stupid. I was about to say people have the capacity to, to reason and understand mm -hmm. situations. They absolutely do. They just choose not to. Yeah, they just choose not they to. They just I mean, choose not to. But how it's you can ex almost ri is ridiculous to me when I can hear a man straining and trying his best to be as clear as he possibly can without having something a ticker along the bottom of the screen. I'm not condoning um, a woman beating. I'm not condoning man putting. Tickering across the bottom. Yeah, yeah, what else could he possibly yeah, have done? It doesn't even matter. It, do it doesn't even matter because people have that shit out. So, but, um, um, we finally found some stuff. Yes, yeah, so I found something. I just, uh, you know, just, you know, modern technology here. Just uh, was going on some articles. Cause I, 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 I told you, I, I really believe that I heard someone or some initial report saying that she put her hands on him first. So I'm just going to read just a little excerpt from this, uh, from this article. And we'll, we'll have the link somewhere, you know, for you to check it out on the Facebook page of one of those shits. Uh, and it says, you know, no one, and this particular article is from the latinpost.com. It says, in no way, shape, or form am I saying Rice's actions were right. Ones or that hitting a woman is acceptable. But again, but, but again, the fact remains that just weeks after the incident in Atlantic City, Janae, that's her name, Janae Rice, decided they had both made mistakes. And it just, it goes on to say that most reports have told us that Janae struck Rice initially and Rice hit her back. Of course, self-defense only goes so far, but we can only guess what happened. Now, of course, this woman has been, she went with him to the meeting with Roger Goodell, and she's been on his, on his side for the whole time. Now, like I love to do, I love going down to the comments. And the first comment is from a person named Kelly, three days ago. It says, this is a ridiculous article. Just because the fiancé didn't press charges does not mean that the crime was not committed, and it certainly doesn't mean that it should go unpunished. Has the writer considered reasons why she might be insisting that everything is all right? There are many possible factors, but the most probable, fear, fear that he could do it again, uh, fear that they both will lose too much money in the process, fear that he will go to prison, the possibilities are many. They have children, for God's sake. No pressing, not pressing charges does not mean that everything is all right and forgotten. Not pressing charges is simply easier than going through the court process and, do not, uh, and does not attract unwanted attention. The NFL was too lenient with his punishment, and my opinion is that there should be a no-tolerance policy of incidents such as these. Now, that's Kelly, a woman. I wish Kelly would have uh, expanded on no tolerance. What, what the fuck does that mean? I have you no idea. Not in the fucking league? He, I don't know, but here's a man named Drew. Or, this is how he comes out, or maybe she wants a soft punishment because she knows she fucked up by hitting him first. They were both drunk. They both did something stupid. Two games is fine. Then, then you have another person who agrees with Kelly uh, about the whole battery thing, and, and they're going back and forth. And this is the, uh, this is, this, uh, this is the type of discussion that I wanted. Just people acknowledging that if she did hit him first, okay, clearly, you know, the, 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 the punishment should fit the crime. So if a woman barely touched you and grazed you, but you just need to get her off of you, you don't have to, you know, knock her unconscious or something like this. But I think she, Janae, realizes that she had something to do with that. It doesn't, you know, because the way they're portraying is like, it's almost as if Ray Rice was in the casino, lost that blackjack, and just, you know, just slapped this woman down. There was no provocation. You know, so... 
Wow, this is this is. I mean, I just found this thought that was was, was kind of funny. I, I mean, not kind of funny, kind of interesting, and I'm glad that I was able to find this. Um, but yeah, you know, again, like I said, the thing is though. See, or it, it just work, work quickly. Another person saying her being uncut. People are like, oh, but she was unconscious, you know. So they were expecting like the you know the Ryu uppercut. And again, another person said her being unconscious uh, means that the altercation got out of hand. It still does not tell us how it got to that point. Did the slap? Did she slap the heck out of him first? Were they both drunk? Was it a combination of her alcohol consumption and the slap what put her in that position? We don't know. So, you know, what were we going to say? I was going to say that, you know, again, I don't even think that women are, are saying that, you know, she didn't do anything. You know, they're like, we don't, they don't care if she did anything or not. That's the whole issue. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Yep. That, which brings me back to the very beginning of this 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 show, when I said, what Stephen A. didn't say, what no one has said, does it not matter what a woman does in any way, shape, fashion, or form to a man? Are they completely absolved of all responsibility when it comes to situations like this? That's 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 the whole thing. They don't give a shit. Uh, I want to hear a woman say, I don't care if she stabbed him in the fucking short ribs. He should never touch her. I, I want to hear a woman say that if that's what she really believes. I, I, I'm just reading the last comment, and it just says her. This is from her. Pot smoking is punished harsher. And the cherry on this Sunday is the stupidity that followed. Goodell screwed up. Hope the whole NFL feels it. Janae married the smuck. And Ray Rice owes everyone an apology. He doesn't owe me shit. He doesn't owe me an apology, huh? Uh, or no, just drop his ass. So I guess now the man can't 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 be a football player anymore. Uh, she's talking about the NFL or Janae. No, uh, yeah, uh, she should drop him. But uh, yeah, yeah, she should just drop him. Seeing him as more than a <laughs> stupid athlete after this would only be by ignorant idiots. You know. Well, that's uh, that whole zero tolerance. That's zero. Like I said, I, I, yeah, I would, I, I, you know, I, you know, it almost, it almost. You know what, we, we, we should go to probably parents, like mothers, who are maybe, let's say, in their 50s, and, um, you know, so they have, like, teenage kids or maybe grown, you know, young adult male children, and I wonder how those women would describe, because women talk about each other poorly, except when it's a, a situation where they have to rally together. I had so much terrible stuff. You know, why don't you have any more female friends? Because all females are bitchy. They do this. They talk too much. But let something come to unite them, then everybody's together. I would like to know what a woman would say if her son were coming home with scratches all over his face, jacked up, busted up, just torn out the frame completely by his girlfriend. Yet he, you know, I wonder if the mother would say, listen, you know, you, I'm pretty sure she would do, go through all this stuff. You know, leave her, do this, do that, everything. And he's like, oh, I'm in love with her. I can't leave her, so I'm just going to stay there, Mom, and I'm going to take these beatings. I wonder what his mother would say. If she would ever say, if she would ever find, because now it's not just, you know, we women unite. This is her son. I want to know if she would ever say that there is such a situation or scenario in which her son should eventually, eventually defend himself. Once again, I'm not talking about just... Hey, you looked at me wrong for some, you know, he had to check her for reckless eyeballing or something like that. No, I'm talking about if it was a pattern of serious domestic abuse against him. Would a mother tell her child that there's a point where you have to defend yourself? Just curious. Well, I'm curious about is I just want to know if there's a, a, a no tolerance uh, action that women can take. I mean, what can a woman do where we, we, we render her with no tolerance, you know, no matter what the situation we got to put her down, put her in jail, you know, uh, 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 banish her from society, uh, not allow her to work, uh, not allow her to feed her children or, or whatever. I, I, I want to know what, 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 what situation. What, what could a woman do? Yeah. Nothing. Maybe, maybe if, you know, kill, oh, means, kill Christ yeah. or some shit, you know, <laughs> behead a child or something. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, you know, Bill Maher loves children in this, in this, in our society because they, you know, it's always like, you know, well, they're supposedly holier than thou but well they're just little humans but yeah they she would probably have to like you know draw and quarter a child 
and put, you know, you know, like literally just put the child's body parts all over the place and film it all in order for her to be drummed out of society. Because he, they're talking about a no tolerance policy. Unless, so, yeah, unless, of course, she, though, had, um, uh, was that postnatal depression? Was that shit, too? Oh, man, fuck out of here. Oh, so that's a built in excuse. Yeah, whatever, man. I said that these people are overreacting. Ray Rice should not lose his ability to, to work for the remainder of his days and obviously with this woman her he should not be you know alone for the rest of his life you know in a fucking cave someplace you know with, with the reminders of his his, his his one transgression or whatever that's bullshit that's no town shit and of course you know a, a, a woman wants to set that you know she wants to yeah. Well, anyway. Um, but, you know, we do live in a society that had, back in the days, that whole rule of thumb shit where men were able to just lash their women down and stuff like that. Once again, we're not with none of that shit. We don't want guys fucking up women. Unless they do some terrible shit and a guy's like, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. But if you can find the path of least resistance and somehow get out of a situation without having to, like Chris Rock said, you can shake her up, you a bear hug or something. Do all of those things first. Don't go chopping them down and slapping them down unless it's like your life or hers or some craziness like that. Or your skin or hers or something. But stop the violence on both sides. Both sides. Um, anyway, that is... Uh our show it turned out to be a big one, long one, but, uh, you know, that'd be that. Um, yeah. Anyway, folks, uh, we'll be back again uh, next week. Mm -hmm. of course. Um, tune in. See you soon. Take care, everyone. We're trying to make it, baby.